Hello and welcome to this short snippet video with me Adam Rose. In this video we're going to have a look at how you can allow subassembly movement within high levels of SOLIDWORKS. So I'm just going to open up a recent document. I've got this grill here which is attached to a barbecue. It's got some movement in it, we can actually move it to a number of different positions all controlled by what is a limit angle mate. So quite a complex mate actually controlling the movement there. You usually find within SOLIDWORKS when you take a lower level assembly and insert it onto the top level that the movement within the subassembly is no longer available. We're going to have a look at that now. So here's the high level assembly and you see the movement that we had before is completely restricted. In fact, we can't move it at all. One of the things we can do within SOLIDWORKS is to right click on the component and go to component properties. That allows me to change some of the properties and I can change the state from rigid to flexible which then allows those mates and those abilities to move to come through in SOLIDWORKS. I can then move the assembly to a number of different positions just like I could if I was at that sub-assembly level. However, usually we would say that it's not best to have limit angle mates or any of the more complex mates which control movement at the, the lower levels within SOLIDWORKS. It's always best to try and have them at the highest level that you can because they do make the movement quite complex for SOLIDWORKS to solve. In order to go along with that, we're actually going to go back to that other document. So I'm going to create a second configuration here. This is going to be a configuration which has no limit angle mate. So in order to get rid of that, I'm going to suppress the limit angle mate in this configuration. The assembly is then free to move to much wider range of angles. If I switch back to my assembly, I'll need to activate that configuration. So again, we go to component properties. Okay, so now that item is selected, this component has changed over and the, the amount of movement it has is, has been widened. In order to still have some control on this component and how far it can move, I'm going to put that limit angle mate at the top level. From my mates dialog box, I'm going to insert it from the advanced mates section. I'm use the same values here. So I'm limiting the angle between 100 and 180 degrees. That then allows me to have that same movement, but you usually find that it solves a lot better when the solid works and you're less likely to get any jittery movement or any problems. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of how to best deal with the movement within solid works when you're dealing with sub assemblies. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully that will be useful for you in the future. 